the communists are furious we shot down their balloon. And coming up, we'll debate whether the administration took too long. Uh, but first, what will the feds learn after they hauled the balloon back to shore and examine the remains? Joining me now to discuss former Army Special Ops Intel analyst and Fox News contributor Brett Velikovich. Um, so, Brett, why a balloon and not a satellite? I think they have satellites up there already. I think this was just part of a layered surveillance system. It's not just satellites or balloons. You have drone technology. You have a number of different systems that are out there. I mean, we just recently learned that since 2018, the U.S. Air Force admitted that the Chinese have over 120 satellites orbiting the globe and conducting reconnaissance and remote sensing operations for military purposes. So they just got caught in this case. It's, it's one of many systems that are out there tracking our forces and regular Americans every single day. So from 60,000 feet, uh, you have launched similar operations. You understand the technology and what they can gather. What can they gather that high up? Well, it sounds like they were just uh, checking the weather. If you listen to the Chinese, a little meteorological uh, research. Uh, but if, uh, if you really understand how we do these things behind the scenes, you'd realize that they could capture a ton of different data. They can do surveillance. They can capture signals information. Uh, they have the ability to, uh, you know, pull a lot of uh, different communications that we, I don't think, will ever truly understand. I mean, this is a real national security failure. We have no idea what intelligence was really collected from this and mm -hmm. transmitted back to the Chinese intelligence. And I think if, if anything, this event should be a wake-up call for Americans out there who don't truly understand what's happening in our country behind our backs. You know, bombs might not be dropping from Chinese aircraft, Kennedy, but make no mistake, China is at war with us. They're at war with us economically, diplomatically, in the cyberspace. They're stealing intellectual property from American businesses every single day. They're buying up farmland around our own military bases, just as some of our colleagues have reported. They're spying on us in many different forms, and, and most Americans don't realize until it's too late. I mean, this has already caused grave damage to our national security. And, you know, this is incident, while it's just one simple espionage mm -hmm. event that we can physically see, people need to understand really what's happening under our noses every single day. And it's part of a larger array of surveillance that uh, continues to happen. So one thing that was frustrating a lot of people who were watching, regardless of party, was why they were letting this thing continue to fly across the country. Why didn't they shoot it down sooner? Well, uh, I think it's difficult to determine that. Should Either way, we know that. They, they should have, absolutely. They, I mean, this is a total national security failure. President Joe Biden seems to be patting himself on the back with some alleged swift response, but uh, China completed its mission. They completed its mission. This was a successful Chinese espionage operation that we should have taken out uh, beforehand. And a larger issue here is optics, right? This was a test. We played right into the Chinese long-term strategy of publicly highlighting how weak our response is. They're going to use this against us for years. And they basically, you know, instilled this fear and showed that our defenses are vulnerable because of the way the administrat administration responded. You know, it was a bold provocation. Um, they seem to not even be trying to hide the fact that they could penetrate our defenses with cheap technology. This type of technology is, is a bit outdated, yes. it, you know, in the first place. So the fact that this was up there flying around, um, you know, and not stopped beforehand where it had five days to transit the continental United States should be an embarrassment to our government leaders. So how did they disable the surveillance capabilities of the balloon, as is claimed? They're claiming that, but I, I, with the best electronic warfare systems in the world, there's no way to really tell um, what was sent back. And that's, that's my fear. They can come out here and pretend uh, from the administration that um, they stopped this surveillance from coming through, that there was no physical threat and that's why they let it fly around. But there's no way to know that unless you're sitting on the Chinese side of this. And, and to sit, sit here and, and wait to shoot it down and say that it didn't pose a physical threat is just disingenuous. The damage has already been done. The whole point of surveillance, just like this on your adversary, is to cause damage to them. That's why the U.S. government conducts surveillance, to eventually strike at perceived threats. So whether or not that damage is immediate or years down the road, it's mm -hmm. completely irrelevant. There's significant damage that's been done here. And I really hope that the Biden administration comes up with a proper response to this. Yes, because this is obviously going to happen again. If it's happened in the past, it is going to happen again. And on the part of the communist Chinese government, it seems all too intentional. Brett, thank you very much. Thank you.